Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Atlanta Street Interviews. His latest interviewee, the street hustler from Houston, Texas, with a mouth full of gold, honey. Did y'all watch this interview? Marcus, <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. These interviewees are getting worse and worse with all this line. Honey, she was very much giving me, I'm making up stuff as I go. When you tell them you're going to pay them $20, yeah, y'all, yeah, he done upgraded it from $10 to $20. They'll make up anything. She's a hustler. So this young lady's name is Candy Rain. And she said that she was born into this lifestyle. Apparently, her daddy was a PIMP and her mama was the bottom B. It was the mouth full of gold for me. <laughs> and it tied and threw lace front wig. But you said you made $700 a day, girl. Honey, it was the audacity for me of her getting on here telling all these lies and alibis. Now, you say you got a crib and just purchased a Range Rover. Honey, why are you out on the street? Why are you a street walker? Make it make sense. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. Is she telling the truth? Or is she pulling our leg? But the whole star of the show was when she talked about fetishes. And we know that Marcus has a thing for people. <laughs> he is a fetish type of guy. So he was excited. What kind of fetishes? So not only is she giving out golden showers to her clients, but she giving out brown showers to her clients. Now, I have never heard of this. This is the strangest, nastiest fetish ever. Yes, when I tell you she said a guy wanted her to shit on him, and she did for $1,500. Somebody get in the comments and let me know, do you all believe this, first of all? And have you ever heard of this? Now, I know it is some kinky individuals out here, but this is beyond trifling, nasty, Think about all the, ooh, child, I don't even want to think about it. It's disgusting. Marcus, I believe you should have put this interview on the B side. She wasn't good enough to make it on your main page. She was, <laughs> like somebody said in the comments, I could already tell she was lying in the first two minutes. But yeah, child, so the fact that she said that she graduated at 14, she was in AP classes. So we know that's advanced. She should be pretty smart, right? Wrong. When Marcus was talking to her about how much money she was making, she was switching up the numbers. And then she had the nerve to say uh, seven times seven. And she kind of looked to the side. She was waiting on Marcus to tell her. Now, you mean to tell me if you were in advanced classes, you don't know that seven times seven is 49? Girl. You know, Marcus always posts their cash apps up there. And people in the comments going in, if you're making all this money, you got to crib Range Rovers and all that. Why do you need donations? Ain't nobody going to send you a damn thing. What y'all think? Marcus, Marcus, some of the people are saying in your comment section, throw the whole interview away. And <laughs> her and that tied lace front wig. I was in the flow when somebody in the comments said, is this Miss Netta daughter? <laughs> she very much gives me sexy red reject. I mean, if I had all that money, the first thing I would go do is snatch those rotten gold teeth out of my mouth and give me some veneers, child, because that right there will help her out. She's already a little hard on the eyes, and those gold teeth are not helping her any. Marcus, the last few people that you have had on here have been questionable and seem to be liars. You may need to tell them after the fact that you're going to pay them $20. Maybe we can get some truth. Maybe we can get some honesty out of these people because it seems like to me they are just making up anything. And another thing, I don't know if anybody else caught it, but mark us. You made sure to show us gold teeth nipple did y'all see it because she had on all little skimpy white dress marcus made sure to zoom the camera in on her tit taste and he made sure to ask her how much she charged just for regular no fetishes honey you bet not y'all drop down in the comments 